So that's an assembly for a sliding door. Uh, we're going to put the gasket on all the sides. Uh, the gasket procedure for the gasket is exactly the same for a pivot door or a sliding door. Then the other side. finger so smaller from the edge and the same way when you cut the gasket the other side will finish here so this corner will be exposed and that's the way it's supposed to be that's the way that the corner should look like so now we're putting the bottom profile. You have to make sure you use a rubber hammer. So that's that's the bottom profile. So when it's a sliding profile, we're using this cleat. It may read right there as, as a DX or an SX. SX normally is used in the pivot side, in the pivot profile. But th that particular SX has this part grinded off. But if you get an SX like that, which is exactly the same as a DX, it's not a problem because you could use this and this or either of these or both of these in the sliding profile. But you can't use SX which has this part grinding off because that particular p one is only used for a pivot door on the pivot side. So for the side profiles, it's advised to first put the cleats in. So what we've done is we've opened the cleat and uh, the portion which goes inside uh, the profile goes in first, like that. And you'll hear a click sound, like that, which means it's gone in. That's the portion of the cleat. Now we're going to put the side profile here. The side which is going on the bottom is a straight cut, so it doesn't need a cleat. It needs another system which we'll show you later. And side which is on the top is 45 degree angle cut hence we use a cleat in there this is where we put on the top profile the rest of the half of the cleat goes in like that so we're doing the top uh, profile now screwing the corner you see these holes are on the top and the process is you screw a little bit on one side and then a little bit on this side and then again repeat the process of doing there and then here then there and here a few times and then finally we will tighten the final uh, last bit so step by step to make sure it's aligned properly and then goes there and then here so 
So once it's almost there, we need to hammer it up a little bit with a rubber hammer. So we have to make sure it's aligned properly. See now the edge is come clean very nicely made uh, on this side as well. So that's the top side being done. The side where the handle is here, that's the bottom part. And that's the other side. That's the bottom part which we're going to assemble now. So the bottom profile is already there, the side profile is already there. This particular white plastic part goes in the first hole using that special tool which comes with the kit. So once the, the first one is in, you put the screw there and then you put the second one in here and put the screw in there, release the tool out and then you tighten all the screws you have to make sure the first one we put that in the left one first and then the right one which is the end one later on. The first one when you put the first plastic in, white part, put the screw in there to hold it. Then the second one and put the screw in there to hold it. Top side and the bottom. Once this is done, now we're going to put the T profile on the top of the glass, and then later on we'll put the sliding system on the top as well. On the top profile, we're putting this bar. So all the holes are already pre-drilled. Not this, and this is already going to be matching. So, yeah. profile we're putting this bar so all 
all the holes are already pre-drilled and this deep. and this is already going to be matching so yeah Notice here, all the holes from here to all the way in end are matching this profile. This profile X. Now we put the screw in each of these holes. So this profile already had a, a hole drilled in it. This profile already had it. This was matching. So all these screws are in. The last one, left and the right, will be like that. Don't worry on that part because this is a pre-drilled profile which comes uh, hence it has a hole in it we can't drill a screw from here to here because there's a corner cleat here so this remains like that but this is not a problem because there's enough screws over here that's the way the system is uh, because this comes as a big profile and we can cut that profile according to the length of the, the sliding uh, door